First you gotta pick up before you can straighten up. That's why people let things accumulate. Too lazy to do it, at least I was. These tools here are usable tools and nothing expensive about them. But as you go through the boxes and stuff, you find tools that you forgot your head. That ball peen hammer needs to be cleaned up. Perfectly good file sitting around getting rusty, and I know better, but I'm a lazy old man. <laughs> that cheap old hammer, why I ever saved it, I don't know. It nails though. Two twenty plug. My cutoff wheels. I don't know what I done with my soapstone. I had it out the other day. I see. I leave my propane up here because I'm gonna probably have to do a little bit more burning. We go to rooting through the toolboxes I got over there. There's no telling what I'm gonna find in there. Like I told you the other day, there won't be no real expensive brand tools because I've never bought any expensive tools. I get a kick out of watching some of these people's videos doing a nice project. It doesn't matter what item it is they're making. Trash. <clears throat> some people. Like, I don't know if they're born with a silver spoon in their mouth or what. But you see them, I'm going to show you how to build these pretty cabinets. Well, I guess I could too if I had a $5,000 milling machine and a lathe and expensive table saw and uh, drill presses and planers. router tables, you name it. They got everything under the sun stuck in their little garage. Well, it's one thing to think about now. If you got that kind of money, you can just go buy you some darn cabinets. And you stand up there, some, a lot of them got no idea how to make a video. They won't talk. They just whiz around and show you something real fast. All these young people got a bunch of rock and roll music on there. How they get people to watch it, I don't know. I got nothing against rock and roll music. It's come up in the rock and roll age. But some of that, what they call music nowadays, is sourdough to me. Take this rap stuff, I don't care for it. punk rock or whatever you want to call all that stuff. I don't need none of it. But it hurts me to see somebody make a video and act like they're such a pro and you see all the mistakes they're making. He might have a uh, $20,000 worth of equipment in his shop. The knowledge that he needs to use it he never acquired. Not everybody's that way. Some of them are very well uh, versed in what to do. Usually it's some old guy that did it all his life. You can pay attention to their videos because they, they know what they're talking about. Well, we're picking up a little bit of junk here anyway and I'm ranted enough for today.
Oh, I see that. She'll say, where did my steak knife go? Never mind, it's been burnt with a welder and everything else. All right, I'm going to roll some of that out. Well, no, I think I got some another job I need to do. A neighbor gave us some a flower that's dying, and I want to try to save it. I'll stop on my job today. I got my light bulbs put in. I need to put a switch in that light. I just got it plugged straight into the wall right now. Mm -hmm.